The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to do something different on the show today because I've had several requests to walk through the crude oil trade. I posted the long-term picture that we were looking at up here. Nothing more than ABCD with absolute perfect symmetry from AB equals CD in both time and price. That's what WD Gann called the squaring of price and time. And that's all based on uh, just simple geometry. Now, as we were remembering, you know, we were coming in here with a possible war with uh, Iraq. Or <laughs> that was the old days. <laughs> this one was an invasion of Russia into the Ukraine. And I've been to the Ukraine. Just an absolute lovely, uh, lovely country. I was there uh, five years ago with Tom Hugard for a three-day seminar. And it was really great. Uh, the only thing is, as you were going into the city, you could see these tanks and, and war materials that were still there. It was really quite, quite scary. But uh, anyway, let's get back to that chart. Now, we know that the news follows the trend. That's what our assumption is. I believe in the patterns. I try to stay away from the, the uh, news as best I can. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but that's the way it goes. So what I was looking there is that we were making a potential top up around 93. And you notice the day of the, of the the top should have come in on the second or third. It actually came in on the fourth, off by a day. Now, it broke a little. It broke some. So when I sent out the video to place the trade, I said, look, wait for the market to break and then sell that first FIB retracement at 618 or 382, whatever you want to do. Just sell that first FIB retracement, put your stop above the high, and if you're right, you know exactly where you are. Well, that happened on, <clears throat> on Monday. Actually, it happened. On, I think it happened on Sunday night. I'm not even sure. But we were preparing for that. And we'll, we'll walk through you what, what happened during that time. If you notice here, th th this is what happened. Let me get it up here so we can take a look at it. And we've got to tell you where we are right now. That's what I'm trying to get to because we had a nice call from Sherry. Uh, from Texas, uh, and I think she's still in Texas. And anyway, she was asking me to go through this. But if you look at the high that we made there at 93, that's on the left left side, way over the left. You see the market came back. The fill was on Sunday. You see it went up to the 61% retracement, stopped right right where it did, and then it started to go down and down and down. And what we did on, on Tuesday, yesterday, we lowered our stop down to 91.20. And the reason why is at that point, we're locking in about a thousand dollar profit because we don't know, you know, where it's going to go from here or not. You know, that's the one thing we absolutely hundred percent, without doubt, you never know what's going to happen next. I mean, you really don't. And the fact is, today, folks, people have asked me, "Am I surprised about the strength in the stock market?" Absolutely. And the reason why is I missed a major bottom down there yesterday. I can see the seventy-eight percent retracements in the S and P. And the NASDAQ, but uh, I missed it. So uh, that's a, a way. the good part is, is that we weren't looking for a short until we reach a different time. And we're not even close to that now because it looks like we might even make the old high here at uh, 4805 in the S&P. Heck, we might make it by the time this, short, this, store, this show is over. But let's go on to the, to the crude oil to see what's happened. Okay, now here's what, what's happened here. We'll up this, this is up to date. I just did this a little while ago just to see where we were. Hold on just a second. Because uh, I sent a new video out. Hold on. Uh, what's going on here? Sorry, folks. Give me a second here. Okay, here is a 60-minute chart on the crude oil. Now, going back to the top, you can see those three key times. Those were those ratios that we were looking at. Folks, that's the 135 pattern. One, three, five. We're going to cover that on the next uh, day trading thing that we do sometime in March. But that's a really, really beautiful three, uh, one, three, five pattern. Lower tops, just absolutely the absolute upside down version of a three drive to a top pattern. And I, you remember when I did, I had the stop at ninety one right here. I got the stop here at ninety one twenty. Well, what I did now is I lowered the stop down 
to 90, uh, 9082. Now, at 98.2, you lock in a $2,500 profit out of a $4,000 move. I can't, I can't get it any better than that. Now, we went above the 382 this morning, as you can see. The last time I checked, it was trading below it. So as far as I can tell, I got that stop placed absolutely perfectly. Maybe not, but that's the way I do it because I, I don't want to risk any more of that. I'd like, to, I'd like for it to crude oil to drop $10 a barrel 10 days in a row, but that's not going to happen. So I have to protect myself and the 24-7 the people with where to place a stop. And Shelly asked me, how do you determine? So all I determine is, you see the little ABCD that was there. Okay, I can see that clearly. That comes in around 90 to 37, okay? The 50% retracement comes in at 90.79. And I, I did this before this happened because what I did was I put that stop above that 50% level, assuming that the bottom that we made yesterday was going to be a significant bottom. And we made a lower low today, folks, by about uh, 10 ticks and rallied $2,000. And, you know, when you're short, <laughs> you, uh, you say, what in the world is going on? But we're seeing this in everything, folks. We're seeing volatility that we haven't seen in a long time, and it's going to get better and better and better and better that's the main thing okay so i hope that answers all of shelly's questions because uh they were all spot on pertinent it's all about the amount of money that you risk not about how much money you make and so what you want to be doing is focusing on that and when i do that i i'll show you in just a minute what i what i was doing with that and you'll, you'll see something that i did uh, just a minute ago because that's uh, that's what I try to do is I've been looking at these charts for so long I have a good grasp at what they're doing on a short term basis for sure the long term basis and eh, not so much sometimes you know but uh, that's it I did miss that low in the bottom in the in the we talked about it a little bit but I didn't think it was going to be much of a bottom but they gave me uh, I mean I, I wasn't involved too much but uh, I didn't get a buy in that was a thing that bothered me because people asked me why didn't you buy it i said well i'm looking for a sale and my sale was going to be at uh today was going to be at 45 35 but uh, they went through there last night so quickly i said well that's not going to work so i said we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer i i've been watching several markets along the way which we will cover and we want to cover some of these things with the uh the european markets because they're very exciting they got some chart patterns that are just, uh, they're really, really highlighted by Alan Smith over there in the UK. And uh, he does a great job over there. And uh, uh, he will, uh, I'll show you his charts when we come up here. If anybody has any questions, 877 uh, <laughs> let me write this down, 877-927-6648. Don't you just love live video? Holy moly, guacamole. When we get back, uh, we're going to cover the gold market. We want to see what we did right and what we did wrong, because if you learn from your mistakes... You won't make that same mistake again, and that's what you try to do. So let's uh, remember that. Uh, okay, uh, by the way, though, we'll cover the bonds in just a little bit. I will cover the bonds uh, also because they need to be uh, be addressed to here, here this morning. We'll be right back after we pay a few bills. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call Newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to go over another one right now. We get I uh, got two more emails about the gold trade. First of all, let's remember where we were back on January the 26th. You can see the beautiful ABCD pattern from the 7th of January into the 26th. That is absolutely spot on, 1854, uh, and uh, it uh, hit it right on the money. We sold it at 1854. What I did was the market broke $11 from that level, so I moved my stop a little too close. And believe it or not, folks, I missed the whole thing all the way down. It never gave you another chance. Between the 26th and the 27th, you know, gold dropped, you know, $70 an ounce. And uh, son of a gun, I mean, that doesn't give you a warm, cushy feeling. I didn't have any chance. There was no other chance to make any money in the gold. Now, we were long on that way up, so I, I'm not feeling too bad about that, but to have that set so perfectly and move it around, and, you know, I, I ha people think that, you know, when you do these shows and do the newsletter, write a few books, that you're perfect, and boy, uh, I hope you realize that uh, God's the only per perfect person, and she doesn't talk about it too much. But the main thing is, is you got to recognize what the mistake is, and I, I said it several times, and corresponding uh, videos that, yeah I, yeah, I did make that mistake, you know, try not to do it again. But, you know, it, usually when a market breaks like that, it gives you a 382 rally to uh, to do it. And we didn't get a 382 rally until two days, three days later, up at the uh, 1810 level. And we did sell that. And we did make that money to the downside. But, you know, you know, that was that was only twenty two dollars to the downside. And we left, you know, a lot of money on the downside on the other one. And then we shorted it. Here, here was the question. Why did we short there? We shorted it at the 1810 level. That was at the 50 percent level. We had two ABCD patterns in there. And so I sold, I sold it there and we put our stop above that high at the 618 for a seven dollar risk and uh, that was taken out i couldn't have done anything any differently the difference is is that once we entered that trade the most profit potential that it gave us was only three dollars and we would assume it was going to go down more than that and of course the market said ah you know how to spell assume you make ass out of you ass out of me so uh that's what my grandfather used to tell me all the time anyway that's what the problem is is that you've got to determine what that risk factor 
factor is because you don't know for sure what's going to happen with any of these markets. I mean, it, it's really amazing the volatility. We're seeing volatility in hogs and cattle, for God's sake. I mean, that, those are the those are the usually the boring, most boring markets of all time. But we're seeing that also. So one thing we've got to remember is it's not about the money you make. It's about, about the money that you that you keep. And that's the key thing. All right, let's get back to the market for just a little bit here. Early this morning, once these markets, folks, when they go back, when they go beyond my key numbers, today it was uh, 45, uh, 35 in the S&P. That did that, that did that last night. It went uh, up to 45, 57. I'll post that up here because that was my that was my uh, place of last resort. Let's get this up here so you can take a look at it. I sent this out and uh, with the saying, you know, be careful. You see the number, the, the two two big ABCDs, they measure up to uh, uh, 4558. We got as high as 4570. But once we went above that key level, 4535, which was the high of the fourth, that told me that that ABCD was most probably going to get up there to 4557. And we did. And we went through there like it didn't exist. Now it's shooting for the 4585. And that's the one was the 61% retracement on the daily chart that was from the high that we made way back at 48, uh, 48.05. So that's what I'm doing. When it gets real volatile like that, what I do, hold on here. Uh, okay, hold on one second here. Bob, I, I would really be careful selling it at 45.86. Uh, today, you know, you don't have to, Bob, be quiet, disregard what I just said. Bob, just make sure you put a stop in. That's the main thing uh, doing it. Here's what I was looking at. I went down to a four-minute chart with the uh, E-mini. Hold on just a second here. Uh, let's just get this up here. With this is the E-mini uh, Dow Jones. And basically what I was looking for was an ABCD pattern over this Two and a half, three hour, two and a half hour period, and that came in at uh, 3682, 35682. That was the place where the 1.618 came in, and so I would say, okay, if I sell it there, I don't have to risk very much. And so far, that has been the that has been the high, I believe, uh, or very very yeah, it's, that is the high. So here's what I was watching at the same time. I was looking at the AI program. And that was also telling me, wow, that maybe, maybe, maybe it means something, because we had a three drive pattern, and that's all I have. See, if I've got a, if I've got a pattern, whether it's a five minute, a ten minute, or a four minute, or a daily, and I see that pattern, I can tell within a really, really small amount of whether it's going to be right or not. And that's what this thing is all about. About these patterns, this is about how much you have to risk. Because if it goes beyond those numbers by very much, something is wrong and you've got to get out of the way. And that's the that's the whole key to, you know, trying to remember to do that. that, that I know it's a simple, not as simple as it sounds, but that's as simple as it is. You know, like Mark Douglas used to sell, trading is simple, but it's not easy. And that is absolutely correct. I was watching the Olympics last night with Sarah and we were watching these guys with the skis, you know, going up in the air. And, you know, doing that flip-flop stuff, and oh my gosh, it was, uh, you know, it was really spectacular. I, you know, I don't talk about it very much, folks, but you can go in and Google it. The old cowboy here, right here, old Larry Pesavento, was in the 1960 Mexico Olympics, folks, representing the United States of America. Go in and Google it yourself. I got a plastic fork. I was in the knife and fork Olympics, Olympics, and I finished a strong 11th. I didn't do well in the caviar division. But I, you got to respect these athletes, folks. I know they, they get a lot of money from uh, – they're not paid, but they get a lot of money for their promotions. They go first class. Uh, you know, So they're living their dream, which is good. But, boy, I'll tell you, the one thing I, I just really hate to see them fail. When these figure skaters fall under kabukis on the ice, oh, I just I, I'd hate to be a parent watching that. I mean, that's just uh, that's just it. I've had some students uh, that were uh, Olympic medalists. Two were gold medalists. Three, well, actually, three gold medalists. And then I had Lori Goff. She was a bronze medalist in speed skating. And I have a good story about Lori Goff. Uh, do I, I don't have I have enough time. Lori, I taught Lori how to trade forex. She was running a lumber yard and trading forex on the side, and was making more money than she was at the lumber yard. And so she went home to trade, and she was doing really good. One day she called up. She said, "Larry, I'm going to have to quit." 
And I said, why is that? She says, well, my husband, he, he, was, he was a carpenter, and he would walk in and he'd say, uh, don't try to lose all our money today, dear. Every single day, she, he would do that. And I said, Lori, read him the riot act. Say, it's my way or the highway. you got to give me a little boost of confidence or this is not going to work. And he was just really worried that if she made enough money that he was going to leave her. Well, <laughs> that didn't happen. So anyway, it, it all worked out in the end. But uh, that's one of the stories that I've remember doing this for for so very many years we got a little break coming up here the, the guest that we had scheduled today uh, was unable to make it uh, tomorrow we have none other than he calls it to the minute Winsky will be on he's got some great stuff tomorrow folks so let's don't don't miss tomorrow we'll be right back Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, uh, just a second, folks. I posted a chart here of the FTSE. Uh, this is the, uh, the UK market. You can see we made a double top up there with the ABCD. And then you'll notice here that uh, these come from Alan, uh, Alan Smith over in the UK. Uh, you'll notice here that it's now making the 135 pattern. That's in the purple thing. You know, you're basically looking at that. And uh, that there, here's a perfect example. Now you've got three lower highs. 
and you have symmetry from the high to the low, and that makes it, hold on, maybe we have somebody calling in today, and we have Mr. Z on the line. John, how are you today? Larry, I'm doing very well. Very so interested am I, yesterday to hear uh, Jeff Huge, your guest, yes. give the uh, the bull the bull case for the S and P five hundred. That was yes. uh, very helpful and um, very interesting. So thanks for having him on, and pass along our thanks to him, please. I have, and he is a fine fellow to be on. He's a good friend of Rich Anderson. We need to thank Rich for bringing him to our attention. But uh, what can I do for you today, my friend? Well, I wanted to thank you for going over uh, the particulars on your gold trading uh, yeah. 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I've got a, uh, a question on gold, but unrelated to your short-term trading. First, by way of background, um, you know, since that top in August of 2020, gosh, that's 18 months ago now, up there mm -hmm. at 2070, gold has been in a uh, range and uh, I do compliment and hand it to you in uh, your uh, taking the approach of trading both sides fairly aggressively. And during this trading range market, you know, going on now for months and months and months, that's been a very successful point of view to, uh, to implement trading-wise. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the background, that's the history. My question is this. When gold starts to trend strongly, and it's you know it's going to trend strongly at some point, either up or down. I'm guessing it's up, but you know it's going to be one or the other when it starts to trend. And my question is, can you share with us your thinking as to what you're looking for uh, that will persuade you we're starting to trend and. Once you've uh, seen what you're looking for, what you're going to do about it, please. Just, sure, John, you know, conceptually I'll, speaking. I will try to do that. And what I'll do is uh, I think the easiest way for me to do this was to do it in a market that we've been extremely bearish on for quite some time. And that is the uh, Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. And uh, I want to bring this up to your attention here. This happens to be the Treasury note. It could be anything, folks. It could be anything at all. But what you want to be watching here, now, those of you that, that follow the 24-7, you know that I post these on shorter time frames so that we can see what's going on. But this is the Treasury notes. If you remember, when up in 2020 here, uh, they were telling us, you know, the negative interest rates are on the way, you, you know, and, and all the countries had negative interest rates. And for heaven's sakes, folks, you know, I'm not a rocket scientist by any stretch of the uh, imagination, but, but I can tell you, I was born in Terrell, Indiana, but I was born at night, but it was early in the night. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm not going to fall for any of this stuff. This thing started to break down. Now, after the 382 rally, Mr. Z is asking, how do you get on these things? Now, remember, this is a weekly chart. But you'll notice here, as, as it starts to go down, it breaks really rapidly. Then it goes to a period of choppiness and stuff. The only way you can do that, folks, is to go down to a 30-minute chart and I uh, will see if I happen to have one that would give an example of that. Crude oil would have been the best example, and I think I'll just put it up here uh, because uh, th that, would be the, that would be the best one right here because this is it. This is crude, and it's been trending strongly. There's no question about it. We went from uh, – uh, we dropped $5 a barrel, folks, Five, uh, just about $5,000. We happen to still be – hold on just a second here. I'll get this up with a little bit of luck. There we go. Here is the crude oil, and we happen to still be in this trade. Then gold will do the same thing, only upside down. The first thing you do is you look for those three lower tops or three higher bottoms and try to find that. Now, this is, you know, you're looking at you, this thing really swings. It carries a big stick, folks. You know, these reactions from 91, you know, to 90, at 92.70, that's $1,500. That used to be a lot of money in the S&P, but it's not anymore. But that's what you want to look for is to follow the lower tops or lower bottoms, higher bottoms, higher tops, and also get accustomed to using the 382 retracement. Because I'll tell you, when I do this uh, seminar that we're going to have sometime in March, uh, I will show you that without doubt, I mean, I've kept so many records on this thing. It, it's just a, one of the most amazing things. It catches these, you know, these patterns really, uh, you know, really, really dramatically. So that's what you have to do. Once it sees hey, another question, Mr. Z, how will I know 
when the the market has really I mean, gold is broken out to the upside. When we clear 1856, okay, then I'm not going to buy it there because I don't buy breakouts. But I'm going to be watching for ABCDs to the downside, stopping at 382 retracements. And that's what I'll be watching. We saw this in natural gas. I posted this. Oh, my goodness. I think I posted enough natural gas charts over the last two weeks to, uh, oh, my, they're just everywhere. I mean, you, I, I've done it here. I've also done it for the people that have the, you know, take the 24-7 the stuff. But, I mean, it's just, just one after another, 382 retracements in natural gas. It just kept dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And today we had one. It dropped another thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars. So it's really, uh, it's really quite, uh, quite amazing. Now, what's happening here? I hear something beeping here. This shouldn't be beeping. Let's see what it is. It is, uh, believe it or not, it's natural gas. <laughs> As I live and breathe. Okay, there it is. Uh, what I'll do is, so we've got a break coming up here, and then I'm going to bring up uh, some of these. Uh, Hold on just one second here. Uh, hold on just a second here. We'll get this natural gas, hopefully. Uh, and I will, uh, what I'm going to do is, I think I've got it lined up still here. Oh, dear, probably not, but they're close enough. Yeah, I'll be able to do it close enough. You'll be able to see it uh, as we come down through this thing here. When we get back from this next break here, which is in a few minutes. Oh, yes, I still got it. Yeah, there it is. Good, good, good. This is going back to the big high. And uh, it's just truly amazing. I'm going to draw one other one. This is really worth it, folks. I mean, I'm telling you, I've been studying this stuff for a whole long time. And let me tell you, this is uh, this is Mother God and country stuff. So we'll have to uh, bring it to your attention here. And hold on, let me, I can't do anything with this until I get the, uh, I have to do the charts. I have to make them smaller so that they'll fit the page and everything. So I'm going to be talking. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. Let's get this up here, and I will be doing it. Testing uh, $10 million with one. Uh, I don't know what that means. Q, I'm not even sure. Hey, we'll be right back, folks. I think we have a break coming up right now. I'm not sure. I'm trying to stall so I can get this chart of the of this up and we'll see if we can get this up so the folks can see it when we come back from the break because I think it's that important and uh, we'll uh, do one thing at a time <clears throat> Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, I'm uh, trying to answer Mr. Z's question here about how do you trade these really strong trending markets, folks. I posted the uh, natural gas. You'll notice it made a high up there at 560. And from that time frame, you'll notice those little red uh, dots from we go from 560 all the way down to 480. Every single one of those was a 382 retracement, folks. I mean, to the absolute tick. I mean, within $10, $20. I mean, it was incredible. And uh, then we had a really nice rally for about a half a day, also stopping at a 382. That's the one that occurred on the February 4th. And then we start down again and again and again. Now, I'm going to be really pounding the uh, doorstep and pounding the desk when I do uh, the next time we do one of these deals where we trade live because uh, you're going to see strong trending markets like we're seeing today. You had a couple last night doing exactly the opposite of what the – if this thing was doing on the on the upside, but if you'll start to to get friendly with it, and after you've studied it enough, you're going to be really surprised. Now, there's a really strong key to this that I'm going to share at the time. It's related to uh, you know velocity and stuff, and I think that's uh, going to be very very important. But keep in mind that's a it's the easiest pattern that I've ever seen. You don't have to do any. It's a no brainer. You just have to learn how to calculate three eight two, know what the trend is and then go with it. Your risk is so small compared to what your profit objective is that uh, it's really quite uh, quite spectacular. Now, I wanted to share some of these great charts. I just did the one with the FTSE, but there's other others here that uh, AS sent over, and I, I, he just says such beautiful work with the symmetry. It, we all can learn from it, but here is the, uh, this is the DAX on a five-hour chart. Here again, he colors it up so you can see it nicely. And you want there's another example, Z, of a, of a strong trending market. There's your one three five pattern. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at the look at the amount that you make on that. For God's sakes, you're you're risking almost nothing, and boom, you're you're home free. You know the one three five is the the high is is number one at the very high. Number three is in the middle. Number five is the the lower top, the lowest top. They have to be symmetrical. In other words, the distance between the high of one and the high of three must equal the high of three to the high of one. And the ratios, the 618, 786, they must come in also. So you've got beautiful harmony. It's basically an upside down, whatever you want to call it. But it's a 135 pattern. I got that from uh, the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Bill, Bill, and his uh, son Roy, and boy, oh boy, Bill and Roy Longstreet. Anyway, uh, back in '86, they came to visit me up there in Pismo Beach, and I got to be friends with them. And believe me, I, it was a real honor to me because uh, Roy Longstreet was the king of the soybeans during the '50s and '60s and '70s. He lived to be very old, very friendly, really nice guy. And uh, his son passed away a little too early, but they were just great. 
great people, and it was a real honor to know him. He owned Clayton Commodity because he lived in Clayton, Missouri, and I started trading with Clayton Commodities way back in 1964 in Los Angeles. It's where I met Mr. Mr. Five Toes, Jimmy Twentyman himself, and Twentyman was my broker there. Uh, there was a whole bunch of Roy Fassel was also a broker, and it was a lot. Of, it was in the Howard Hughes Building, and the, the McCulloch Oil Building was being built across the street on Westwood Boulevard. And soon as that was built, uh, Conti Kamadi came in and offered Roy Fassel the opportunity to open his office, and he said, I'll take it. He walked over, and, and with him came five of the brokers from Clayton Commodity to uh, you know to go to work there. There were a couple others from the Dean Witter there, but that's what started the whole Conti Commodity and all the market wizards that traded through there. I was thankful to live during that time and learn so much. And uh Got to meet Stan Harley. Stan will try to be our guest next week. He's traveling again this week. So that's it. Folks, i got to share a few more of these because I think they're just really exciting. Here is the Here happens to be a cross rate between the euro, uh, the Europe's, uh, Europe and the British pound because, you know, they're not concerned about the U.S. dollar over there. Whoops, surprise, surprise. So here is the, uh, the euro versus the British pound. And, of course, they don't use the uh, euro in, in, uh, G in Britain. They use the pound. And so what they do is they, they, wa they watch it because they got visitors going in and out, business going in and out. And here again, you're seeing some great symmetry on this thing. I mean, it's a beautiful ABCD to the downside. And, from, you know, we've gone from 8290, you know, all the way up to 8480. Uh, you know, this is a daily chart, but that's a $2,000 move in seven days. So we're seeing great volatility in that currency. And that, that's an important one, too. Now, I've also been acting. I'm going to jump around here and do a couple other things to show you some of these other charts because this is the FTSE on a four-hour chart before we had that that other pattern. And I'll show you that one led to another. But there is the four-hour. You can see that you got a double top up there. And then you have three drive to a top. Drive two is higher than drive one. That has to be there. Drive three has to be higher than to be there. And there's symmetry. You can, he put the symmetry in. It's actually 26 bars, uh, 26 four-hour bars in between that. So that's like uh, three days. So that's what he's doing here. And I, he does a great job. And I want you to see his work because that's the information that I get early in the morning is what we have looking at the markets from a, uh, from a European standpoint. Now, I've also been asked to take a look at the euro. We want to get this up here. Uh, this is pretty much up to date as of this morning. Whoopsie daisy. Let's get the ball rolling here, cowboy. Let's get the ball rolling. Here we go. Get this up here. And you'll see this coming in right about there. We made a 61% retracement off the high of October. Okay. We came down. Now, what we're watching for, you see this been down for just three days, very, very quietly. Woo that has a chance to be really powerful, folks, because if the euro starts to pick up and gets back above there, wow, that's a three day three day retracement in a real strong trending market. Mr. Z, if this were gold and it were three days down like this and it starts to break out, we gotta get the old saddle on Walter and get him on that one, buddy, because that one's got a lot of power. So if we get above that one fourteen eighty level, in the, the euro, you don't want to be short because after a three-day retracement like that and no, 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 uh, not even a, close to a 382 retracement, it comes in around 137, that is flat-out bullish. But we got more time. Maybe it goes down today just to pay attention to because if it breaks out to the upside, it's going to go a long way. And, and to seeing that, another way around, since uh, we were talking about this on the uh, – uh, I want to show you the dollar index here. Uh, where did I put it? I put so many of these charts up here to try to give you an idea that I sometimes lose them on these little tiny figures I can't even see. Are you kidding me, darling? Hold on just a minute. Where is the DAX? I mean the dollar index. Uh, it has disappeared. It appears and disappears. So I don't have it here. Shut the front door and razor it. Nope. Don't have that one. So we'll move that on to, uh, ah, there it is right now. That's the, uh, this is the German DAX on a five minute. Let's get that up here. You'll see that's the same as the others that we've been looking at right here. Okay. If we, um, all right. Next thing I got to cover here. Very important. This big move we're having in all these things. Okay. 
whenever you see big moves like that that are rocking and rolling, the first thing I do is I go in, I look at the open interest. And I put this up here. I looked at this last night. I'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the open interest figures from last night on the NASDAQ and the S&P. Uh, both of those dropped. Uh, Russell was dropped also, the, the Dow Jones, but the two big ones, the NASDAQ and the S&P, both had drops. I showed you that. That's short covering, folks. That's not new buying. If we have another day like today and the market has losing people, oh, this is not a bullish sign. I know it looks bullish right now, but... They don't look that bullish all the time. I want to post something here that I think you're going to like. Let me get this up here. This is from one of my students who's a big uh, believer in the Floor Traders Handbook. I want to get this up here. This is a sheet that he's put together for risk and reward. And if you're interested in this, uh, Billy will allow us to send it to you. But he's really done a great job showing how to set these things up and what the ex expectations are on winning and losing, what your maximum risks are, number of trades. He's just got this lined up really nicely, and if you do want a copy of it, uh, I'll make sure that I send it out to you because he's doing a great job. 
And uh, this is something that's uh, quite important because what, the, what the, the handbook does is it proves that the ABCDs work. It's basically the work of Man, uh, Menwa Mandel brought on fractals, and it just shows you that the fractal is AB equals CD, and that's basically how it works. So all I can say is if you will be uh, so kind as to remember when you're doing these trades, whatever you're doing, when these patterns fail – you must get out. You're never going to be right all the time. If you're looking for somebody that's going to be right all the time, look upstairs, pal, because it's not the old cowboy doesn't got it. I mean, I'm looking for two out of three at the very best, hopefully not having a string of losers. You know, we haven't had that in a while. Oh, somebody's at the door. Anyway, uh, we've got to be able to remember it's all about risk and control. Tomorrow we're going to have none other that he calls it to the minute, Norm Winsky. Norm's got some good stuff, and his timing has been very good. He has a been great, great experience, and he's uh, always a good guest to have on. So we'll have him on, and I'm still trying to see if we can get. Uh, he lives in the darkness of the night, Denapoli, on the line because he's really hard to get in touch with. Uh, so we'll we'll get him on eventually and have him on. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 